Welcome to the installation video for the KLR 650 SU racks. These particular racks are built for models 2008 and newer. The SU racks are designed to be used with soft luggage or fixed luggage, which is perfect for mounting aluminum panniers or pelican cases or whatever luggage you choose. These SU racks have been redesigned for ease of install so that you do not have to relocate the turn signals when doing the install. This install should take about 15 minutes at most. The rack also includes a tool mount which is included on the non-exhaust side of the bike. With that said, let's go ahead and confirm that we have all of the parts that we need to do the install. For the hardware list for the Happy Trails SU racks, you should have both the left and right rack. You should also have the bumper. And then for hardware, you should also have these two turn signal inserts two M8 by 35 bolts, two M8 by 65 bolts, four M6 by 30 bolts, four M6 by 20 bolts, four M8 washers, eight M6 washers, and four M6 nylock nuts. The first thing we need to do is remove the turn signal assembly from the tailplate mount we can do that by removing these two bolts here. And then once we have the turn signal assembly free, we'll want to remove the rubber grommet in here by using a flathead and possibly a little bit of water or lube to get this out. We're not going to reuse this, so you can set this aside. And then do the same for the turn signal assembly on the other side. Next we'll remove the front tailplate bolt here. Once this is out, you can set it aside. This will also not be reused. Next we'll remove the upper passenger foot peg bracket bolt on both sides. These will also not be reused. Next we'll take the M8 by 65 with an M8 flat washer on it and we'll place it through the center mounting point on the SU rack and into the hole on the tailplate. We'll go ahead and start the thread but we'll leave it loose. And then we'll start an M8 by 35 bolt in the upper foot peg mount and we'll also leave that one loose. Now we'll go ahead and install the turn signal mount. This should mount in between the SU rack and the tailplate. We'll want to feed two of these M6 by 30 bolts with M6 washers through the SU, through the turn signal, and into the insert on the back side. Once you have these in, go ahead and leave them loose so that we have some room to adjust when we put the bumper on. That should be it for this side. Let's go ahead and move over to the left side and do that. Once you have these two bolts and the turn signal disconnected, let's go ahead and do the exact same process on this side. Being sure to leave all the bolts loose so that we have room for adjustment when we put the bumper on. And then once we have everything on, we'll go ahead and tighten it all down. Okay, all four bolts are in place. We'll go ahead and move to the bumper installation. For the rear bumper, we'll use these M6 by 16 bolts with a nylock washer and two M6 washers in between. We'll go ahead and mount one M6 by 16 with a washer on either side and a nylock nut on either side just to get the bumper in place and then we'll add the other two. We want to leave these loose again so when we f do the final tightening we'll tighten these last. Once we have the bumper in place with two bolts on each side we'll begin tightening from the front back. Starting with the foot peg bolt here 
and then the front tail plate bolt, and then the tail light assembly bolts. And then we'll do the same on the other side from front to back. And then once we have everything tightened from front to back, we'll just want to make sure that our wiring is secure for our turn signals. Turn on the key and test to be sure that our brake light and blinkers work. Here's the right. Left. And brake light. And that completes the installation for the Happy Trails SU rack. If you have any questions, please feel free to email support at happy-trail.com or you can call 1-208-377-8771. I hope that this video has been helpful for you and I also hope that you enjoy your new SU racks.